All right, I am here with Renault Steik uh, with OK4WD, and they recently built a brand new shop truck, which is a Toyota Tacoma. Ren, do you want to tell me about it? Sure. Uh, this is our new Tacoma. It's a 2017 TRD off-road. Um, one of the last 17s we were able to get. Uh, it's an access cab. It is also the six-foot bed for our new Kaya camper from Cab. Cool. Cool. What off-road uh, equipment have you added? This has just about everything ARV offers for the new Tacoma. Uh, from their Summit bar in the front, uh, their Summit protection, and then their Summit steps. All paint matched. Um, it also has their skid plate system, the UVP. It has the new rated tow hook from ARV as well. And the old Mini Moo BP-51 bypass shocks. Cool, dual battery system. It does, yep. So it's got the off-grid dual battery system. Uh, so your regular starting battery is now relocated to the passenger side. And your house battery is in the place of the OE battery. It puts a group 31 over here and a 35 over there. We also have the S-Pod SE. Uh, so it's an eight circuit system controlled inside the cab, uh, which runs our air lockers, our air compressor, our winch interrupt, our ARB intensities, and also some power back to the camper. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot it's got air lockers too. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about the wheels? Yeah. So the wheels are made by Braid. Uh, they're out of Spain. These are built to our specs. So they're 17 by seven and a half running a 34 by 1050 17 BFG KO2. Cool, cool. Uh, you want me to pop the camper? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. This is uh, the Alucab Kaya. Correct, yep. This is actually uh, a little pre-production unit that's sent to us, so we're just f working the final details out for the US market on it. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, pop it open for you. Okay, fantastic. Before we take a look inside, can you show me the outside storage solutions on the Kaya? Yeah, so you have four cupboards uh -huh. under the outside, two flared and two standard. Uh -huh. So this is your kitchen cupboard. Uh -huh. Have a little bit of a mess right now. No, oh, it, it's fine. <laughs> your electrical box. Uh, so this has your National Luna AC to DC, uh -huh. has all your fuses in one location, and also a SeaTech 250 Dual, which will do your solar and power from your alternator to charge the battery inside. Very nice. In the front here on this side, you have your cable. So this just pops off and slides right out. This side, on your flared cupboard, you have more storage. So we have a Tembo Tuscan here, we have our recovery gear, some Blue Ridge Overend, uh, recovery bags, some ARB air up tools and deflators. And you also have your propane cabinet on this side. Okay. Over here is where your shower pulls out. Just pull that, this pulls out, you close your <laughs> on. And then your base plate is on the rear door, goes on the ground, and your shower attaches to that. And this is the Alucab Shadow on, right? Yep, yeah, this is our 270 Shadow. It's gonna close the back door, make it a little easier. Yep. Night. Yeah, very nice. You are done.
there are touch lights all over the place. And you can switch them from red to clear just by holding down the button. And there's another one on the ceiling. Yep, there's six of them all together. Okay. Uh, two inside, one on the door, one here, and then one in each cupboard. Okay, so there's lighting in the outside compartments too. Yep. Good, good. So inside, you have a lot of storage. Uh huh. Um, you have two kitchen storage units right here. Uh huh. Which are just roll out drawers. Um, you also have storage for a porta potty under here. Okay, fantastic. And you have zippered storage on the sides here. It's as long as up here. And you also have one here. Yeah, yeah, so. And under here. So these, have, these are all cavities. Correct, yeah. So there's a ton of places for gear. Yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah, it is. As opposed to the outside as well. And uh, fits a standard 12 volt fridge? It does, yep. Okay. Uh, production models will have the new ARB element fridge. Uh -huh. um, at the time this one was built, the only fridge that fit was the National Luna 60. Okay. Um, so again, one of those pre-production things, but uh, you also have a 120 liter stainless water tank that not only feeds your shower, but also a Dometic sink and stove inside. So you have a two burner. Zipper pockets in the rear corner, and this compartment is a pass-through to the outer cupboard, right? Yep, for your coffee gear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that way you don't have to get out in the morning for your coffee. You also have four pockets on the rear door. Yes, very cool. Um, you also have a screen door here uh -huh. on the rear door, uh, so that way you can keep this open if it's raining as well and still get some more ventilation. Okay, okay. All right, to lower the sleeping platform. Yep, there's listen. a buckle on that strap. Yep. Uh, and you also have gas struts to assist you with it. Mm, very nice, and it just sets down on the rails, so yep. it, it's supported by the frame. Correct, yep. And you also have two reading lights that are in those zippered pockets on each side of the bed uh, that you can pull out at night and they store in the zippered pockets so you don't crush them during the day. Nice pockets underneath the sleeping platform. And uh, I'm sitting on the sleeping platform now. The foam is really comfortable. Inside this zipper pocket is a reading light on a gooseneck. And to push the sleeping platform back up, just hold down the strap and push up and it secures it into position. Yep. Now, will these drop in any size, small truck bed, or are these custom made to fit a specific make and model? We started with second and third gen Tacoma. Uh, Colorado and Kenya will be next. Okay, awesome. Yeah. That is a very nice, very sturdy, practical dry camping solution. Just a drop-in shell that you put into a bed of a truck. It's almost like not a camper or a slide-in, but more like a rooftop tent with a basement. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Close the awning up first.
Do you have to lower the sleeping platform to uh, stow the camper? Yes. Yep, you gotta pop that down first. Okay. It helps if you keep this door a little bit open. Yeah, yeah. It's like we have somewhere for the air. Yep. Thank you.